All right, everybody. Ron with Four Seasons Barbecue. Hope everybody's having a good day. Happy Sunday. I'm making a avocado, corn, and tomato salad today because it's 95 degrees outside. And I don't want to cook out there today. So, first off, I'll show you how to shuck an ear of corn without having any hair left. Take the whole the whole thing like this, put it in the microwave for four minutes. And then when it's done in the microwave, I'll come back and show you the next step. Alright, just took this out of the microwave. You gotta be careful because so I've been in the microwave for four minutes. It's gonna be hot. Just cut this end off. And you squeeze this in. See how clean that's coming out of there? How clean that is. All that hair stayed inside that. I don't know if you can see it with the camera. But. Look how clean that sucker is. Not a single piece of hair on it. And then if you want to add another step to it, like I'm going to do for the corn, or the salad, I'm going to put it on the burner over here and just get a little bit of char on it. I'll bring you back when I'm ready to do the rest of the salad. All right, let me show you one more. Okay, I got two down there. Too much algae is sucking the life out of these backwaters. And the nutrients that are fueling this Now, I already started to peel this one back at the store to see if it was any good. So hopefully that doesn't screw up the process. There you go. Dang it. Look how clean that is. Not a single piece of hair on there. Anyway, I'm going to get these charred up over here on the stove. I don't know if you guys want to see that or not. But uh, I'll bring you back when I get the rest of the salad ready to go. I'll give you a little shot of the, the corn getting roasted. Just leave it up here for a little bit. It doesn't take very long. It only calls for three years of corn in that salad. So now you're supposed to carve it off. I'm not going to show you all three ears. Bring you back when I do the rest. All right, calls for half of a medium sized red onion. Try and do this fast so you guys don't get bored. And it says to leave them in rings or half rings. So what I might do is quarter these. I love raw onion. 
I know a lot of people don't, so I make these a little smaller by quartering them. And then you just break them up. Put them in the salad. Here's in there with the corn. And then as you're stirring and mixing, it'll it'll break up even more. Now next, you use these little grape tomatoes. I haven't washed these yet, so I'll bring you back. All right, next step is a pound of these little tomatoes. And you're supposed to have them like this. Then it takes two tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of lime juice, that makes your dressing for the salad, and I hate to say it because I hate it so much, it takes a little bit of like half a bunch of uh, cilantro. That my wife likes so much, so we will put it in the salad. I can eat it once in a while, but not very often. I don't like eating soap. But anyway, bring it back when I get some more stuff ready. Alright, next step, avocados. I'm sure everyone knows how to cut an avocado. We got this Mexican grocery store here real close. They have the best avocados. My Jeremy Wade. For 35 years, I've been tracking down freshwater monsters. Yeah, I always take that little bit that's left in the skin, a little bit of seasoning on it. It's so good. If you guys ever get a chance to get this, this stuff is awesome. It's got sesame seeds, black sesame seeds, onion, garlic, salt and uh, poppy seeds in it. If you put that in your hand, just pop it in your mouth. It is so good. I'm gonna show you how you're supposed to cut these avocados here in a second. <laughs> and believe it or not, I'm allergic to avocados. But I love them. So I eat until I start getting reactions. And then I quit. Let me take, let me get rid of this black stuff. It's said that if the Amazon dies, we all die with it. Scare story or not, if there's one river that needs a thorough health check, then this is surely it. I'm hearing reports of big fish disappearing and people getting sick in the Amazons of the reaches in Peru, where the mighty river begins. You're supposed to leave it kind of chunky. It's a city of half a million people carved out of the rainforest and virtually cut off. That's the next step. I'm not going to show you the next avocado. Bring you back on the next step. All right. Calls for three cloves of garlic. But that was kind of huge. But I am going to put in five because I like garlic. 
Maybe they'll kill the taste of that nasty ass cilantro. Cut this baby down. He's kind of big. tablespoons approximately of lime juice I also love this press I don't think that was two tablespoons kind of a small lime that might be two tablespoons. So there's nothing on this one either. And we leave the lines out until evening, but still no dorado, in fact no fish at all. So we hang up our hooks for the day. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Maybe one. That might be two. I try not to measure. And then, calls for half of a bunch. Well, I'm not putting in half a bunch. I can barely stand the smell. Of it. I can't really say I don't like the smell of it because it smells like soap. I like the smell of soap. I just don't like the soap. and it'll be ready to eat. Here's the recipe if anyone wants to screenshot it or whatever and make it yourself. We got the pound of grape tomatoes, three grilled and corn on the cob, two large avocados, half a medium red onion, one small bunch of cilantro, half a small bunch, three garlic cloves, I put in five. Two to three tablespoons of lime juice, two tablespoons of olive oil or avocado oil, teaspoon of salt, and a pinch of pepper I put in maybe a teaspoon. Anyway, now we mix. Try not to get too aggressive with it and smash up the avocado too much. It's supposed to be left in chunks. Okay, some of them need to be broke apart a little better. Alright. Nice and refreshing looking. That's some bad light in here. Let me turn this way. Anyway, nice and refreshing. Now. We 
you gotta take a bite for the camera, right? Get a chunk of avocado, some corn, some nasty cilantro. And a couple of tomatoes in there. Alright, let's give this a taste. Wow, that was really good. You put it in the refrigerator, let it chill till supper time. It's even going to be better. I was informed when the camera was off. They got to do burgers. So now, I'm going to have to go outside and fire up the grill anyway. Anyway, hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe. Keep coals hot, your wood smoking, and your griddles a sizzling. Have a good night, everybody.